Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today I'll be teaching how to make a front tie cardigan. This cutesy affair features the alpine stitch, a crop design meant as an add-on to any fit, and a front tie that gives you an opportunity for the cutest ties and bows if you're into that. Speaking of, if you're into trendy crochet patterns, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of the most modern crochet tutorials and patterns online with new patterns weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now, it's time to get on the show, so without further ado... For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 375 grams of yarn, and that's 600 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 4 and 5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if you eat your pizza with your hands or with a knife and fork. Now, I typically use my hands, but I have used a knife and fork before. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using 4 stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. This tutorial is made for a size small and you can adjust it for your size. We explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this cardigan started, we're all going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we are all going to grab our 4 millimeter hook and start off by making a chain for our collar. So we're all going to start by making a chain that is in multiples of 4 that can wrap around the width of our head. Now I need a total of 22 and a half inches or 57 centimeters, so I'm going to start by making a chain of 104. So now that we have our chain, all finished up, we're going to be inserting our stitch markers into some places and then we can get started with the actual collar portion. But before we move on, we're all going to need to make sure that our chain that's divisible by 4 has an even number of stitches for each section. So for example, I had a total of 104 chains. Now splitting 104 into 4 equal sections gives me 26. And we all want to make sure that it is an even number, so if yours is not, that's totally fine. Simply take away or add 4 to your chain to get that even number. And when we have our chain figured, we are all going to add one extra chain, and now we can get started on the collar. So like I said, my initial chain count was 104. 104 split 4 ways is 26. I'm now going to insert my stitch markers for the front panel. So starting with the ends, that's going to be pretty simple. Since my number is 26, and 26 split into 2 is 13, on both sides, I counted out 13 stitches and inserted my stitch marker. This is going to be the front panel and this is the opening for our cardigan. So my front panel from this corner stitch marker to this stitch marker is 26. Now for the shoulders, we're going to have 26 stitches for those as well. So from our stitch markers, count out your number, should be an even number remember, and then insert your stitch markers into there, it's 26 for me. And then the area that we have in the back in between those stitch markers that we just added in is for our back panel, we should have 26 again. So just double check, make sure that everything for the front, the shoulders, and the back are all the same number, and then we can get started with our first row, which is a half double crochet row. So let's all chain two and flip our work. So that chain two that we made does not count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain, and now we're all going to yarn over, and then into that third chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a half double. So bring our hook down and into that third chain, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do that again. Yarn over, into that following chain, pull through, pull through all three, and just once more. Yarn over, into that next chain, pull through, pull through all three. And that's it. We're going to continue with one half double crochet into every chain. I will meet you back once we reach our stitch marker, just to remind you, we do need to insert our stitch marker into the top of that stitch as well. 
So now that we're at our stitch marker, what we're going to do now is an increase of three half double crochets. So take out your stitch marker for now, and then into that following chain, we're going to insert with one, with two, and then with three half double crochets, and make sure that you insert your stitch marker into that second stitch that we made so we know where the middle stitch is. And from here, continue with one half double crochet into every chain. When we reach our following stitch marker, another increase of three half double crochets, inserting our stitch marker into that middle stitch. I will meet you back at the end of the row. So this is what our row one should be looking like. Now just to make sure that everyone is on the same track, we should have an additional eight stitches from chains that we made. And now we're gonna get started on the ribbing for our collar. So let's all chain two and flip our work. And now that our work is slipped, let's get started. So we're all gonna start our first front and back post double crochet row with a half double crochet. So yarn over, and just into that first available stitch, go ahead and insert your hook with one half double crochet. And now we're gonna get started on our front and back post doubles. So we're all going to yarn over and find that second half double crochet from our previous row. We are not gonna be working into the edge of that first half double crochet because the half double crochet that we just did counts as that stitch. Now from here, insert your hook underneath the body of that second half double crochet and bring it through the other side. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now to do our back post, we're all going to yarn over, bring our hook down underneath our body, over that next available stitches body from our row one and through the other side. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's it, let's do this again. Yarn over, into that next available stitch, bring a hook underneath the body and through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and once more, yarn over, underneath the body, over that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. And we're gonna continue to do our front and back post double crochets until we reach our first stitch marker. So we have made our way down with our front and back post double crochets, and now we're at our stitch marker stitch. We're going to be working our following post stitch into there and making sure that we're inserting our stitch marker into the top of that stitch. So for everyone, it should be a front post double crochet. So we're all gonna yarn over and insert our hook underneath the body of that following half double crochet, which should be our stitch with the stitch marker in it. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and now we're all going to insert our stitch marker into the top of that stitch. And that's it. We're going to continue on with our front and back post double crochets, making sure that once we reach our stitch marker, we're inserting our stitch marker into the top of that stitch. Now I will meet you back when we have just one stitch left to do so we can finish off this row together. So we are back and we have made our way all the way around with our front and back post double crochets. We should all have just one stitch left and we're just going to half double crochet into that last stitch to close off the row. So just to make sure that we are all on the same page, the last stitch that everyone should have should be a front post double crochet. And then we have this last stitch. So we're all just going to yarn over, insert our hook into the last stitch from our previous row, pull through, pull through all three, and that is the last stitch for this row. And as a really quick tip, we should all have the same amount of stitches that we had for our previous row. And now from here, we're actually gonna get started on the front band, so we're working on the framing first. So this is what we should have for our collar. Now from here, since we're at the bottom corner, we're all going to make a chain that is in multiples of six, the length that we'd like for the cardigan to be, keeping in mind that there will be a bottom band as well. I wanted a total of 10 inches or 25 centimeters, so I made a chain of 48. So now that we have our chain, we're going to do a half double crochet row. So block off that last chain and do a chain two. That chain two doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain, we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook with a half double crochet, so pull through, pull through all three, and we're gonna continue with one half double crochet into every stitch until we reach the base. We've made our way down with one half double crochet into every chain and now we're going to slip stitch it into the base. So if your chain ended up twisted like mine, so your half double crochet is now facing the outside, that's fine, just twist it over 
And now we're going to count up the next two stitches into the base. So here's one, and then here's two. Into that second stitch, I'm going to insert, yarn over, and pull through everything, connecting our half double crochet row. And then since we want ribbing for our front band, we're going to do more front and back post double crochets. So to work our way up to the following row, we're going to slip stitch up the following two stitches into the base. There is one, and then there is two. None of these slip stitches count as a stitch. They're just to connect it into the collar and flip our work. And now from here, it's going to be fairly similar to how we did the collar. So we're all going to start with a front post double crochet, so yarn over. Find that first half double crochet from our previous row, insert your hook underneath, through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then again, yarn over, into that following stitch, bring your hook underneath our work, over the next body, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. And that's it, we're going to continue doing front and back post double crochets until we all have one stitch left. So I've made my way all the way down with my front and back post double crochets. Everyone's last stitch should be a front post double crochet. And now we're just going to half double crochet into that last stitch from our previous row to keep this edge nice and blunt. Now we're finished up with this front band, so we're going to do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'm going to talk you guys through how to do the other front band. All right, so we're going to repeat everything that we did here for this front band on the other side. So all we're gonna do is insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of our collar, and we do wanna double check and make sure that it's on the bottom corner stitch and not the top. And we're going to make a chain for the same amount of chains that we made as this side over here. So get your first row done, so chain and half double crochet row, and then I'll meet you back along the base just so I can give you guys a really quick tip to make sure that we remain with the same amount of stitches that we need for the collar. So we have the first row for our other front band nearly finished. I just wanted to meet you back to show you how we're going to be connecting this row. So all we're gonna do is count up the next two stitches, but we are going to count that first stitch that our chain is in, because if we don't count the stitch and if we count up the next two available stitches, we're going to be taking away one stitch from this side of our piece. So we're gonna count up one and then two into that second stitch, so really the next available stitch, insert into there with a slip stitch. Now this row is closed off and the following row is gonna be done the same, so slip stitch of the next two available stitches. There's one, there is two. Flip our work and then do our front and back post double crochets all the way down, closing the row off with a half double crochet. Alrighty, we are back and we have just finished up both of our front bands and now it's time to fill everything in. So let's all start by inserting our now five millimeter hook into the first available stitch into the front band. So we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into that first available stitch that we have into the front band. Next, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and from here, we're going to half double crochet until we reach our stitch marker. So simply from here, yarn over, insert into that first available stitch, insert in through there, with one half double crochet, and I'll meet you back at my stitch marker. I've just made my way down to my stitch marker. I'm gonna take my stitch marker out for now, and insert into that stitch with an increase of three. So there's one into that same stitch with two, and then once more into that same stitch with a third half double crochet. And we are now going to insert our stitch marker into that second stitch that we made, so we know where that middle stitch is and continue with one half double crochet into every stitch. At our stitch marker, do an increase of three half double crochets, making sure to insert your stitch marker into that second stitch or the middle stitch. I'll meet you back once we made our way all the way around to our other front band and I'll show you how we're going to connect it. Now that we've made our way all the way down with our half double crochet row, we're now going to connect it into the base, which is our front band. So all we're gonna do is slip stitch into that next available stitch into the base. So go ahead and insert your hook into that first available stitch, yarn over and pull through everything with a slip stitch. That slip stitch does not count as a stitch, that's just to connect it. And now we're gonna get started on our alpine stitches, so we need to work our way up to the following row. So slip stitch into the following two stitches into the base. So into that next stitch, insert with a slip, into that next stitch, insert with a slip. None of those slip stitches count as a stitch and flip our work. 
Now getting started on our alpine stitch detail, we're all going to start with a half double crochet. So yarn over. Finding that last stitch from our previous row, not any of those slip stitches, we're going to insert our hook into that stitch with a half double crochet. Right after that, it's going to be a front post double crochet. So yarn over. We're going to find the second half double crochet from our previous row, not the first because that half double crochet that we just did counts as that stitch, but underneath that second, insert, bring our hook underneath and through the other side, pull through. Now for our alpine stitches, for our front post double crochets, when we have our three loops on our hook, we're all going to pull up nice and tall to get the same height as the half double crochets. Pull through two, pull through two. Let's do that again. We're going to yarn over. We're going to do a half double crochet into that next available stitch. Now we will be skipping one stitch from our previous row because this front post double crochet counts as that stitch, but into the next, insert with a half double, and now for our front post double, yarn over. Skip that next half double crochet from our previous row because this half double crochet counts as that stitch. And then underneath that next half double crochet, bring our hook underneath, through the other side, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two. And just once more, a little bit faster, yarn over. Skip that following stitch from our previous row into the next with a half double crochet. And then yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet into that next available half double crochet, bring our hook underneath, through the other side, pull through. Pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two, and continue on with our alpine stitch detail until we reach our stitch marker. So we are back with our alpine stitch, we've made our way down to our stitch marker stitch, and now all we're gonna do is do an increase alpine stitch. So all that's going to be is into that next available stitch, this is mine right here, this is my middle stitch, I'm gonna take my stitch marker out for now, and into that middle stitch, we're going to do a front post, a half double crochet into the top of that middle stitch, and then another front post double crochet into that same stitch. So let's do that together. Yarn over, into that next available stitch, so this is per usual, insert with our front post double, and since this is an increase, we're gonna half double crochet into that next available stitch from our previous row. So we are not gonna be skipping that stitch, so yarn over, into that next stitch right there, insert with a half double crochet, and then again another front post double crochet into that same stitch that our previous front post double crochet was into. So yarn over, into that same stitch, through the other side, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two, and make sure that you don't forget to insert your stitch marker into that second stitch or the top of that half double crochet. And now we're going to continue on with our alpine stitch detail, making our way all the way down. Again, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. We're going to insert with a half double. So we are not going to be skipping a stitch from our previous row. We're going to insert, pull through, pull through all three, and then again, yarn over. Skip that half double crochet from our previous row, because that half double crochet counts as that one. And then into that next with a front post double crochet. So pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two, and now everything's gonna be per usual, so yarn over. Skip one stitch from our previous row, because that stitch counts as our front post double. Insert into that next with a half double, and then another front post double, so yarn over. Bring your hook down underneath through the other side, pull through, pull up nice and tall, pull through two, and pull through two. And we're gonna continue doing this until we reach our next stitch marker, and then I'll meet you back so that we can do our increase together again. Okay, so we've made our way down with our alpine stitch until we have reached our following stitch marker, and now we're going to do our increase together again. Now it should be the same increase that we just did together, so let's do this really quickly as a refresher. Let's take out our stitch marker, and that last stitch that everyone should have done should have been a half double crochet. So all together, let's yarn over. We're gonna skip that following stitch from our row one because this half double crochet counts as this stitch. Into that middle stitch, we're gonna insert with our first front post double, Now into the top of that middle stitch, we are not skipping a stitch from our previous row, one half double crochet, and don't forget to insert your stitch marker into the top of that stitch, and then into that same stitch that our previous front post double crochet was worked into, another front post double crochet. So yarn over, bring your hook down into that same stitch, underneath the body and through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and that is our increase. 
Now just to get started on the rest of our alpine stitch detail, all we're going to do is yarn over, insert your hook into that next available stitch from our previous row to start off this alpine stitch detail with a half double crochet. And we're going to continue to do our half double and front post double crochets until we reach our following stitch marker. We should have the same increase for all of our stitch markers. So we're just going to continue this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into and I'll meet you back to connect it into the base. We are at the end of our row two and now we're going to connect it into the base. So connecting every even number row, what we're going to do is count up the next two available stitches. So there's one, there's two, slip stitch into that second stitch, that slip stitch still doesn't count as a stitch, and our row two is connected. Now getting started on a row three, which is a half double crochet row, we're just going to be slip stitching up one stitch into the base, that's going to be how we start every odd number row, and flip our work. And now every odd number row is going to be a half double crochet row. So we're all going to yarn over, find that last stitch from our previous row, and insert with a half double crochet. And we're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch, and once we reach our stitch markers, we're going to be doing an increase of three half double crochets into those. So we've reached our stitch marker, take our stitch marker out for now, and insert your hook into there with three half doubles, so there's one, there's two, there's three, and make sure you don't forget to insert your stitch marker into that second stitch so we know where our middle stitch is. We're going to continue with one half double crochet into every stitch, making sure that we do an increase into our stitch markers, and then I'll meet you back at the end of this row to connect it into the base. So we are back, and our row three is nearly finished. Now connecting any odd number row, we're going to slip stitch into that next available stitch, into the base, that slip stitch still doesn't count as a stitch, and now to work our way up to our following even number row, or our row four, slip stitch into the next two stitches into the base, and flip our work. Now when it comes to doing our alpine stitches, each of our alpine stitch rows is going to be worked into our previous alpine stitch row, and the stitches that we have, it's still going to be half double crochet and front post double crochet, but the stitches are always going to be staggered from our previous row to get the texture that we want. So as an example, we're working on row four, so we're going to be inserting our hook into our previous alpine stitch row, which is our row two. And since that first stitch is a half double crochet, we're going to be inserting our front post double crochet into there. So yarn over, insert your hook underneath that stitch and through the other side, then we're going to yarn over, pull through, then pull up nice and tall, pull through two, and pull through two. Next is going to be our half double crochet, so yarn over, Skip that first stitch from our previous row because this front post double counts as that stitch. And then into that next available stitch, insert with a half double crochet. So everything else is per usual. Let's do this just once more. Yarn over, finding that half double crochet from our previous alpine stitch row. Bring your hook underneath and through the other side. Pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two. Then yarn over, skip the last stitch from our previous row because this front post double counts as that stitch, and half double crochet into that next one. And we're going to continue this until we are ready to do our increase, which is where a stitch marker is. So I will meet you back when we are one stitch before our stitch marker. So I am back. The last stitch that we all should have done should have been a half double crochet. We should have one available stitch, and then our stitch marker. So what we're going to do is our following front post double. That's not going to count as our increase. We're just going to yarn over, insert your hook into that middle stitch, from our previous alpine stitch rows, increase of three, insert, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two, and that is the last stitch for this alpine stitch detail. Now we're going to do our increase. So into that stitch marker stitch, it's going to be a half double, front post double into that same middle stitch, and then another half double. So yarn over, we're going to skip that following stitch from our previous row because that front post double crochet that we just did counts as that stitch, and then into the next, which should be our stitch marker stitch. We're going to insert with a half double into that same stitch that our previous front post double crochet is in. We're going to do another front post double, so insert, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two. These two stitches are increased, and then we're going to do one more half double crochet into that same stitch that our previous half double crochet was worked into. So yarn over, into that same stitch, insert, pull through, 
pull through all three, and that is our increase. And don't forget to insert your stitch marker into the top of that front post double crochet stitch because that is the middle. And now we're going to continue on with our alpine stitch working our way down. So getting started on this side, we're all going to yarn over. Our following stitch is a front post double crochet, so we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into that same stitch that our two previous front post double crochets were worked into. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two, and then we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double, Skip that following stitch from our previous row because it's front post double crochet. Counts as that stitch and then into the following. Insert with a half double crochet. Now everything from here is going to be normal. So yarn over, preparing for another front post double. Into that following half double crochet, we're gonna insert, pull through, pull through tall, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, skip one stitch from our previous row because that front post double crochet counts as that stitch. And then into the next, a half double crochet. Continue on with our alpine stitch detail until we are one stitch before our following stitch marker stitch and then I will meet you back to do that one once more. So we have made our way all the way down. We are ready to do our increase. The last stitch that we all should have done should have been a half double crochet and we have stopped one stitch right before our stitch marker. Now to finish off this alpine stitch section we are going to do our front post double crochet. It is going to be worked into the middle of our increase from our previous alpine stitch row. Just like that and now we're ready to do the actual increase portion. So we're going to take the following stitch marker out and into that stitch that our stitch marker was in, we're all going to yarn over. And we're gonna start with one half double crochet into that same stitch that our previous front post double crochet was worked into, another front post double crochet. And then to finish off this increase, Another half double crochet worked into that same stitch that our previous half double crochet was worked into, but on the other side of this front post double. So that is the stitch we're gonna yarn over into that same stitch, pull through, pull through all three. And don't forget to insert your stitch marker into the top of that middle stitch, which for this row is our front post double. Now to get started on this side of our alpine stitch detail, we're all going to yarn over. Starting this with a front post double crochet worked into that same stitch that our two previous front post double crochets were worked into. We're gonna bring our hook down, through the other side, pull through. Pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two, and then a half double crochet, so yarn over. Skip one stitch from our previous row because this front post double crochet counts as that stitch, and then into the next with a half double, and again, yarn over, preparing for a front post double, into that following half double crochet, bring your hook down and through the other side, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two, and then half double crochet again. So yarn over, skip that last stitch from our previous row because this front post double counts as that stitch and into the next half double crochet. That's basically it. We're gonna continue doing this, including the same increases that we just did. It should be the same for all the increases for this row. And I'll meet you back when we're at the end of this row. We are back and our row four is nearly finished. We're gonna connect it into the base now. So as a refresher, since this is an even number row, we are going to be slip stitching it into that second stitch into the base. So there's one, there's two. Into that second stitch into the base, insert with a slip stitch, does not count as a stitch. And then to work our way up to our following row, which is an odd number row or a half double crochet row, simply slip stitch up one stitch, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch while maintaining an increase of three at every stitch marker and making sure that we are inserting our stitch marker into that middle stitch. Complete this row and connect it into the base and then I will meet you back. So getting started on our row six, it's actually going to start off the same way that we did our row two. Now keeping in mind that our alpine stitches need to be staggered from our previous alpine stitch row, our first stitch from our previous alpine stitch row was a front post double, so we will be doing a half double crochet into the top of that stitch. Next is going to be a front post double into our previous alpine stitch row's half double crochet. So yarn over, into that half double, insert, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two. And now from here we're going to continue doing this until we reach our stitch marker. So I have made my way all the way down. My last stitch is this half double crochet, and now we're ready to do our increase. So this increase, since this is a repeat of row two, 
is going to be like our row twos increase, but the only difference is that we're going to be working into our previous alpine stitches increase into that middle stitch. So this increase is going to be a front post double, half double, and front post double. So let's get this started. We're all going to yarn over and into that middle stitch from our previous rows increase, which is a front post double, we're going to insert into there with one front post double. Our half double crochet is in between, so that's going to be worked into our middle stitch, which is where our stitch marker is. Don't forget to insert your stitch marker into the top of that half double crochet to know where the middle is. And then to close off this increase, it's going to be one more front post double crochet into that same stitch that our previous front post double crochet was worked into. And that is our increase for this row. Now let's just do our alpine stitch until we can do the next increase together and I'll let you do the rest of this piece on your own. So yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, into that next available stitch, insert your hook in through there with a half double. And then our front post double is a yarn over, worked into that following half double crochet from our previous alpine row. Insert underneath, pull through, pull tall, pull through two, pull through two, and continue this until we reach our following stitch marker. All right, so we are at our following increase, so let's do this one together. Yarn over, preparing for your front post double crochet, because our last stitch should have been a half double crochet, and into that middle stitch, which is a front post double crochet from our previous alpine row. Let's insert with one front post double, half double crochet into our previous row's stitch marker stitch, which is our middle stitch, and make sure you are inserting your stitch marker into the top of that stitch, and then close off our increase with another front post double crochet into the same stitch that our previous front post double crochet was worked into. Just like that. And from here again, just into that following stitch, insert with a half double, front post double, and continue. And that is pretty much it. We are going to continue to repeat rows three through six until the two corners that we have can reach our underarm. And I'll meet you back right after we finish up a repeat of row six. So I am back and I have just finished up the shoulder portion of my piece. I have a total of 10 rows and that's just about three inches or eight centimeters counting from our first row. And the two stitch markers that I have can now reach underneath my underarm, forming my armhole on both sides and now we're going to get started on the body. We should have all met back right after we finished up a repeat of row six. So next is going to be a half double crochet row. So go ahead and connect it into the base the same way that we normally would Flip your work and then put one half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. So now that we've made our way down with our half double crochets, my last stitch that I have available on this side is my stitch marker. And all we're gonna do is insert our hook into our stitch marker stitch and into the stitch marker stitch that we have in the back as well. So what we're gonna do is yarn over. Instead of inserting our hook directly in through that stitch marker stitch into the panel that we're working into, so into the front panel. We're going to bring our hook down and into the back panel and into the front at the same time. So this is my back panel. I'm going to insert my hook in through that stitch and then into the front panel one at the same time. And then we're going to single crochet and then we're going to half double crochet per usual. So yarn over, pull through both of those loops to get three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three and we have just formed our armhole. So I'm gonna flip my work. And now just put one half double crochet into every stitch, but starting into that stitch marker stitch that we have into the back. So yarn over into that stitch marker stitch as well. So the one that we just worked into, so it is occupied with a half double crochet. And from here, one half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker again. So I just made my way across with my half double crochets we are now at our following stitch marker and we're going to connect it into the front panel forming this side's armhole once more and it's going to be done exactly the same way as the first one. So I'm going to flip my work over to make this a little bit easier. So I'm going to start by doing a yarn over preparing for my half double crochet. Then I'm going to start by inserting my hook into my opposite panel's stitch marker stitch. Also into my first panel's stitch marker stitch. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through both of those loops to get three loops, then yarn over, pull through all three. And now finishing up this row, I am going to half double crochet into that same stitch that our connecting stitch is in, 
sew yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, pull through all three so it is worked into that same stitch that we used to connect it into the back panel. And then from here, one half double crochet into every stitch. Okay, so my first half double crochet row for the rest of the body is all finished. Our armholes are nice and connected, and now from here we're just going to do our alpine stitch rows and half double crochet rows all the way around. So let's get started with our following row. I have already connected this half double crochet row into the base. So now we're going to slip stitch up the next two available stitches to work our way up to our following alpine stitch row and get that started together. So as a refresher, each of our alpine stitches are going to be staggered. So we're all going to yarn over. Take a look at our previous alpine stitch row. That first stitch is a half double crochet. So we're all going to do a front post double crochet into that stitch to start off this alpine stitch row. And then from here, yarn over. Skip that first stitch from our previous row because it counts as this stitch. And then into that next, a half double crochet. And we're going to continue with this until we reach our connector, so where our stitch markers were. So I've just done my alpine stitches all the way down until we are roughly around where our stitch marker is. Now our alpine stitch is going to continue per usual, but it could look a little confusing just for this row because all the other rows are going to be normal. We're not going to have this junction to work into. So I just wanted to meet you guys back. So I have done my last half double crochet. And from here, this is where my dividing stitch was. And from here, this is my middle stitch from my previous row. And that is going to be where my following front post double crochet is worked into. So yarn over into that stitch marker stitch, which is that half double crochet. We're going to insert, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two, and then per usual, skip a stitch, half double crochet into the next. And then now we're working into the back panel. So yarn over, we're going to insert our hook into that middle stitch from our back panel, yarn over, pull through, pull through tall, pull through two, pull through two. And everything from here is going to be per usual. So skip one stitch into the next, a half double, yarn over into that next half double crochet from our previous row, which is this one right here. Insert in through there, pull through, pull up tall, pull through two, pull through two. And that's basically it. We're going to continue with our alpine stitch row, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch it into the base, and then our falling row is going to be a half double crochet row. Our falling row after that is going to be our next alpine stitch row, remembering that our stitches need to be staggered, and then that's basically it. We're just going to continue on with our alpine stitches and half double crochet rows until we don't have any more stitches left to work into, into the front band. And then once when we don't, do a chain up a one and cut, and I will meet you back. I am back. I have made my way all the way down with my body portion. I don't have any more rows left to work into when it comes to the front band, so I did do a chain up of one, wrong tail end, and cut. And now from here we're going to start working on the bottom band. So we're all going to make sure that our work is slipped right side out, and we're going to flip our work over and insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of our front band. And from here we're all going to start with a single crochet row. So go ahead and insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And for everyone, we should have some side rows to work into for our front band. We're going to be putting two single crochets into each of those side rows. So since we should all have two, let's find our first side row. Insert your hook in through that top loop with one single crochet. Insert your hook into that same top loop with a second single crochet. And then into that following top loop, which is this one right here for everyone. Insert in through there with one single and then into that same top loop with a second single crochet. And then from here, we should have regular stitches to work into. So one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. Once we reach our front band on this side, two single crochets into each side row, and then I'll meet you back at the end of this row. So our single crochet row is all finished, and now our following row is going to be a half double crochet row. So we're just going to chain two, flip our work, and make our way around with one half double crochet into every stitch. So our half double crochet row is now all finished. Now we're going to get started on the ribbing for our bottom band, and that's just going to be front post and back post doubles. So at the end of the row, let's all chain two and flip our work. So we're all going to get started with one front post double crochet. We should all already know how to do this. We're all going to yarn over and insert our hook into that second half double crochet from our previous row. We aren't working into that first one because we want the edge to be nice and clean. 
So inserting our hook underneath that half double crochet body, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. There's our front post. And now to do our back post, yarn over. Bring our hook underneath our work, over that next half double and through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And continue with our front and back post double crochets until we have one stitch left. We've made our way around with our row three. We should all have one stitch left and we're gonna close it off with a half double crochet to keep this edge blunt as well. So we're all going to yarn over into that last stitch from our previous row, insert your hook with one half double crochet and our row three is finished. Now from here, we're going to chain two and flip our work and our bottom band is going to continue to be front and back post double crochets, but it's just going to be extending our previous row stitches to get some really nice ribbing. So as an example, my first stitch that I have right here looks like a front post double crochet, so I will be doing a front post double crochet into there. But if yours looks like a back post double crochet, that is completely fine as well. You'll be doing a back post double crochet into there. So together, yarn over. Into that next stitch, I will be doing my front post double crochet. Into my following stitch, which is this back post double crochet, I'll be doing a back post double crochet into there. And that's basically it. We're just gonna continue to extend our previous row stitches, making sure that we end our row with a half double crochet for every row. And we're just gonna continue to repeat this until we get the length of the bottom band that we want. Once we do, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, we are back and I have just finished up my bottom band. I have a total of 11 rows that is including my single crochet row. And this length is just about three inches or eight centimeters. And I did do a chain up of one and cut. Now from here, we're gonna get started on our sleeve. So what we're all gonna do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out, meaning all of our detail is along the outside. And then we're gonna start by inserting our five millimeter hook into the two stitch marker stitches that we have for the body. Or if you took out your stitch markers by now, it's just those two stitches right next to each other that we connected for the body. So those stitches will be occupied. And now from here, since our previous row was an alpine stitch row, our following row is going to be a half double crochet row. So we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain two. Now that chain two does not count as a stitch, we just need the height, and make your way all the way around, putting one half double crochet into every stitch. So I've made my way all the way around with my half double crochet row. Now we're going to close it off by slip stitching it into that second chain that we made when we started this row. So all together, counting up one, and two, slip stitch into that second chain, and now our row one is complete. Now getting started with our second sleeve row, making sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up, and now we're working clockwise. So getting started on our first alpine stitch row for our sleeve, it's going to be a front post double crochet for everyone. So taking a look at that increase or that V that we have from the body portion, we are going to have a half double crochet right in between. That's gonna be the first stitch that we insert our hook into. So yarn over, bring your hook down underneath that half double crochet and through the other side. Then yarn over, pull through, and per usual, pull through tall, pull through two, pull through two, and the rest of this is going to be the same. So yarn over. Skip one stitch from our previous row, into the next with a half double crochet. Yarn over, this is our following half double crochet, so insert your hook underneath there with a front post double. Go ahead and make your way all the way around with your alpine stitches. So we've made our way all the way around with our alpine stitch row for our sleeve. And now from here, it's going to be a half double and alpine stitch row. So since we have slip stitched into that second chain, we're all gonna chain two, flip our work, do our half double crochet row. And then after that, our following alpine stitch row. And just remember, each of our stitches is still going to be staggered from our previous row stitches so it can match the body. We're gonna continue to do that until we get the length of the sleeve that we want, so roughly three quarters around our elbow, and I'll meet you back right after an alpine stitch row. So I am back, and I now have the length of my sleeve all finished. I have a total of 32 rows, and this length is roughly nine inches or 23 centimeters. Now from here, we're gonna get started on our cuff. So since we all should have ended right after an alpine stitch row, let's all chain two, flip our work, and do one half double crochet row. So we are back, our first half double crochet row for our cuff is all finished. Now let's switch out our hook back to our four millimeter hook and then we're going to do front and back post double crochets pretty similarly to how we did the bottom band. So now we're going to chain two. And all we're gonna do is yarn over, 
find that first half double crochet from our previous row and insert with a front post double, yarn over into that next stitch with a back post double, and that's basically it. And from here, our following rows will be front and back post double crochets that extends our ribbing, just like we did for our bottom band. We're going to repeat that until we get the length of the cuff that we want, and then I will meet you back. I am back and I have just finished both of my sleeves and cuffs. Now I have a total of nine rows for my cuff that is including that first half double crochet row. That's just about two and a half inches or six centimeters. But once we have one side all finished up, repeat the same thing on the other side, and then I will meet you back so you can finish up our piece. So once we have both of our sleeves and cuffs all finished up, we're just going to single crochet along the front band, around the neckline, and back down the front band just to clean everything up. So let's start by inserting our five millimeter hook into the bottom corner stitch of the bottom band. We are then going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and working up our bottom band, we are going to be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. So just getting this started, this is my first side row right here. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert with one single crochet. And if you don't wanna weave in your tail ends, go ahead and place that over your hook. And then we're gonna single crochet along everything. Let's do our following side row. This is my next one right over here. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert with two single crochets. So there is one, and then there is two. And that's it. We're gonna to continue to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. Once we reach our front band, we're just going to be putting one single crochet into every stitch and just continue with one single crochet, making our way all the way up, around our neckline, and then back down. Once we reach our bottom band, alternate between one to two single crochets again, and then do a chain up of one and cut. Alrighty, so we are back and we have just finished up our single crochet row along the entirety of our piece. And now from here, the last, last, last thing we're going to do is make a chain that can be woven into the top corner stitches so that we can tie it so it has a little bit of closure just to give it a little extra pop. So I actually already have my chain all finished up. I made a chain of 100 and all I'm gonna do is just insert my hook into the top corner stitch, pull my chain through, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then from here we can tie our tie, we can adjust it, we can make the collar wider or, or closer, whatever you guys want. And once when we have that, we are all done. Last thing we're gonna do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch you on the next one. Bye.